Dixie Carnegie Hero Fund bronze medal that I got. Um, it was 10 years after I had left Vietnam. Well, it was our, no, it was our 10th year class reunion for my high school. So it was about maybe eight years after Vietnam. But uh, I was coming back from El, El Paso, it's where we had our high school reunion, and I was heading back to normal where we lived. My wife and my daughter, Christina, and we got to Kappa, well, just before that, we got out about out of El Paso about two miles, and I told my wife to make sure Chrissy had her seatbelt on. So she did. So as we're getting to Kappa, I could see a car was slowing down to pull into Kappa, and another car was behind it. And I mean, I am like right there, and I could tell the car was going to get rear ended because one car was almost stopped, the other car was running 70 or 80. So it rear-ended this Pontiac Bonneville, and the uh, Raymond Killian had just filled up his car with gas. So when they hit, it was like a huge explosion of fire. I mean, it was just a fireball. It pushed the trunk all the way into the back window, and I was right there, so, it was like lit up like day, and then as soon as I went past that, it went dark, and then the car that caused the wreck hit me, and I went into a ditch, and both my doors were jammed shut. One was up against uh, the embankment, so rolled down the window, and I crawled out the window, made sure my wife and daughter were okay. Then I ran to the first car that caused the wreck, and I could see the guy sitting there, bloody, but he was alive, looked like he was pretty, pretty okay. So the other, other car was just a blaze and fire. So I got to it, and I mean, by the time I got to it, the back seat had fire in it. And the car was hit so hard that it buckled the frame right under the two doors, so it was like a foot higher. So Raymond Killian was sitting there jammed against the steering wheel and I didn't know how I could get him out. He uh, luckily had the window down. So I got a hold of him and I pulled him out the window and it took me some time to do it. I got him away from the car, I went back and his wife was on the other side, still sitting on the other side and I got a hold of her and pulled her through the window and I know her shoes were left in the car, but uh, they ended up, they were both in serious condition. I got them both away from the car as it continued to burn up. 